will see you next time. Okay, so what do we have? Where's that list of things? Okay. So, opinions. One, I need to complete Valhalla. I'm still so far behind on that, because like I was saying earlier about the open world stuff, I get distracted by the pretty shiny dots everywhere on the map. Um, Mirage, I'm excited for. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really hoping it goes back to what it was. Back to the original, you know, the formula that made Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed. That's what I really want to see. But in the same sense, it's impossible to ask really, but you want that as well as something new. You don't want them to just repeat Ezio's story or repeat uh, Altair's story. But I'm really, I'm looking forward to seeing this is kind of going to be, leave me which direction to go in I, or what direction the future of Assassin's Creed is going to be. Because the RPG hype train, I'm hoping is starting to die out. There's some, been phenomenal ones. But honestly, I haven't minded playing the games, but honestly, I didn't think Odyssey and Valhalla needed to go as into the RPG route as they have. Um, but I ain't complaining. I'm enjoying it. It's, I'm excited. I'm really looking forward to Mirage. It's going to be interesting to see the direction they choose to go. It's going to be really interesting to see if they go start start going back towards their roots. I'm looking forward to re like reliving that story of rags to riches and back to the official like assassins, kind of their outfits, their strongholds, all that stuff. I'm really looking forward to that. As for the on horizon, so Infinity, I'm still, I mean. With all of these expansion ones, very little was actually revealed. They're like, oh, here's a weird animated cinematic thing that we can show you, um, but you're not going to find out anything about it. So Infinity, from just, I've heard about it. I had taken that it was going to be a one, when I first heard about it, I thought it was going to be like a one stop for Assassin's Creed. So you play Infinity and you have access to all of the games, future, past, whatever, and you can jump back. But I think there's still that element of being able to jump back in your own timeline. Not entirely sure, but I think that's kind of what they're going for. Codename Red is what I'm really... As long as they don't make it a mobile. I don't want it to be mobile. That seems like a game that everyone's been asking for. And Ubisoft could very easily just go, Huh, well, I guess we're making it on mobile. And that's probably going to lose a lot of the fan base. But if they don't, and you get to play as a shinobi or a ninja or whatever you want to call them in feudal Japan, because that has been probably the most requested setting I've ever heard for Assassin's Creed. I, for one, have definitely wanted it. Um, been a huge fan of ninjas stuff and when I was younger. And I was like, oh, it'd be really cool if I could go back in time and be an assassin this time. Um, Codename Hexe. That seems... I have so little to go for. All we saw was some wicker and, well, the name itself suggests some sort of magic or maybe it's pagan. When were the pagans around? No, because you've got technically Vikings pagans. You've done that already. Or is it druidic? Huh. <laughs> if anyone has any ideas on codename Hexe, please let me know or share a link to a video of someone who's broken the trailer down. I'm going to have a look at it. Uh, just looking at this image alone, you've got these runes. Um... They don't... They definitely look old druidic runes. They're not viking, I don't think. I don't know my runes very well, I'll be honest. But I'm curious how that's going to be. I'm not sure what to think about Codename Hexe. Eh? Sounds like a cool codename. I'll give it that. It's got a cool, co cool codename. But I don't know if that'll be leaning too much into the... Hey, we're going to start doing more magic-y stuff rather than mag magic science or artifice. Um, but that should be good. Codename Jade, I don't play games on my phone, so I probably won't play that. Unless it's ridiculously amazing and breaks all expectations. Um, but I'm glad they've reached out to the mobile. I just don't think Assassin's Creed plays that well on mobile. From I don't see how you can make it play well. And especially, I guess phones nowadays are getting better in the sense of how much they can store on them. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I would enjoy it. We'll see when it comes to it. Um, the Netflix partnership. <laughs> Let's be honest. Real live action 
depictions of our favorite pop culture, so media, uh, dare I say, Avatar The Last Airbender series, um, the original Assassin's Creed film. Uh, I think it's genuinely a hard market to do well in. Uh, in terms of getting a series that is based on a video game. I am going to sing its praises because I think it's phenomenal, but I'm probably going to get... There are some people who don't enjoy it, that's fair. But Arcane is the first time I have gone to watch a series and that was based on a game and not been disappointed by it. I haven't played much League. I played a bit. Um, and I played more after I watched Arcane. But I've never, I've never seen a adaptation of a game done as well as I think Arcane did. Even though Arcane have explicitly said that the law that happens in the series is not law related to the world, which is fine. They've separated it, which I think is a good thing to do because it means that even if they did f it up, which they didn't, but if they did, they could just say, yeah, whatever. This isn't canon. Um, but I think I don't know. Last Assassin's Creed really saddened me because I, I watched the film and huge names, My, Michael Fassbender. I was like, yeah, this is going to be great. Watched it. I didn't hate it. I'm, I'm not the type of person who goes into a film and then slates it when I come out. I go into a film to relax, you know, shut off, have that disassociation from actually the real world for a bit, that escapism. And I still enjoyed that part of it. And I liked the fact that it tried to do Assassin's Creed, but I don't know, it just... It's very hard to do game adaptations well, especially in a movie situation. I think this is the difference. Because Arcane was a series and because this is going to be a Netflix series, and Netflix has also been pulling out of the park in terms of like adaptations. So there's Dota, the adaptation, which I've watched a few episodes of, which I've enjoyed. Uh, Arcane, mentioned before. Um, there are some others, I'm pretty sure, of game development or game film series. I think series are a lot easier to do than a single film because in a film you've got to push all of the lore from this from this completely different medium like video games you make your own stories to an extent obviously there is a story written but how you experience the story is unique to you isn't it like your experience of assassin's creed is going to be different to mine and how you play it is going to be different to mine and it's so hard to get all that lore collected from everything and put it into a two-hour feature film. And I think the idea of having essentially eight hours is what I'm just going on. Well, not even that. How many? Was it nine? Nine hours for kind of a series or nine episodes of about an hour each. Between nine and twelve is, seems to be the common area now. I think is a good amount of time to be able to not force the viewer to see all of this history and all of this story, but actually enjoy the series as a series. So I'm I'm cautiously optimistic, let's leave it at that, about the Netflix series. I hope it will be good because right now video game adaptations are actually doing quite well. So I hope that continues. But going off the flop, the absolute flop that Assassin's Creed was, the film, as long as it's better than that, I don't mind. Um, <laughs> ultimately. But yeah, that about sums it up for my view of Assassin's Creed, the showcase, and covered the trailer earlier as well. I am very excited for Ubisoft to change their direction back to their origins. I think that is a good idea. And it's definitely going to be worth it. And I'm definitely going to enjoy Mirage, kind of getting that. I think if I do it correctly, I'm going to get the Mirage. Mirage is definitely going to give me that that feeling of reminiscing or going back to something. What is that word? Why can I not remember words today? What is the word for... Um, rediscovering a ch something from your past. Whatever, I am looking forward and I think it will be really cool to see if they do go back to that. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Like I said, um, I'm going to probably try and complete Assassin's Creed Valhalla before this next chapter drops, which is a lot of me to do because I've got a lot of me to do on it. 
because I'm so far behind and I'm very easily distracted by shiny dots on the map. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you're excited about some of these. If you are, let me know what things you're excited about, what things you aren't so excited about. If you're optimistic or cautious, just let me know in the comments. Um, and we'll see what happens in 2023 with Mirage. See you guys.